Namaskara. I'm Dr. Sunita Rana Agarwal. I'm an eye surgeon as well as a genetic engineer where we do gene therapy. I stay and practice at Dr. Agarwal Hospitals, 15 Eagle Street, Shanti Nagar, Bangalore 25. So blepharitis is a condition where there is an inflammation of the lid margins. Now the lid margins get inflamed. Any area that gets inflamed, there will be pain, there will be soreness, there will be redness, there will be edema. And all of these things will be associated in most patients with dry eyes, a lot of children with allergic conjunctivitis also get this lid infections. How do we treat it? Number one, we need to keep the eye as clean as possible. Now, it is not going to be possible to clean anything with soap and water, not the eye. You cannot do it. So here what we need is an ointment, preferably an antibiotic eye ointment, only because it doesn't matter if that eye ointment gets into the eye. So we take a little eye ointment on our fingertips, put it on top of your lashes and massage. The massage is very important because all the lash line has got implicated. The lash line massage is very important and this will bring out the blepharitis. But more important than that, we still have to treat the dryness. To treat the dryness, we have two mechanisms. One is called a silicon lacrimal plug. We have four canals in our eye, which takes the water or the moisture of our eye into the nose. Today, we don't need those four canals. We're all spending so much of our time in front of a video display terminal. That means even right now, you're either watching this show it's on a video display terminal. You're on a mobile phone, you're watching television. We don't need, we're not blinking. We don't need these four canals. So there's a particular silicone plug, which is made in US, patented only for this canal, 300 microns, which means one third of a millimeter and goes and sits inside the canal. It is not an operation, it's not an injection, not at all painful, takes less than five seconds to put in a silicone plug. This way, at least 50% of the water or the moisture for the eye will remain in the eye for some more time. Now, the third thing that we need to do is to give genetic engineering or gene therapy. Here, what we do is one drop of the patient's blood is taken we make it, process it, and within a second or two, we make the patient's own fetal healthy DNA, the patient's own stem cells. This is now given back as injections to the skin of the eye. By doing so, we would have brought back the circulation of DNA into the eye, thereby bringing back the moisture that the eye may lose out because the DNA has become bad.